Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to be going over three new foundations and a balm. Let's go ahead and get started in this video on complexion products. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Jones Road Miracle Balm. I have been getting so many ads on my Instagram and different influencers popping up using this product and swearing by it. So I'm a sucker and had to try it, of course, because if everyone's talking about it, my job not only is to show you guys stuff that is being talked about, but I'm just curious by nature and want to know if it's as good as everyone's saying it is. So what it states, because I'm looking over here online, it states that it is a wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance the skin. It's the secret of a no makeup makeup look light reflecting super product that's as versatile as it is simple to use wear alone or layer on top of foundation for an instant refresh now i just got this yesterday haven't even played with it i put it on the back of my hand the tester in store i got it at credo and it looked really interesting to me. There's several different colors. I think there's like five or six shades. So I got the O Natural because I feel like it's going to look good on every skin tone because it's sheer. There's no real color payoff to it. But what I did notice is that it has a kind of a really light, kind of fresh scent to it. Similar to me would be the Westman Atelier highlighting sticks are the Balm Essential Sticks by Chanel. Now I will say the pot to me isn't really convenient and I don't really like sticking my fingers in products, but I did like the way this felt in store. So, you know, thought I would try it today. I did grab my little metal spatula so that I keep the product germ-free and clean. So a couple of main ingredients that are in here is jojoba oil, vitamin E, and Aragon oil. Right away I noticed when I tried this on in store is I knew that I was going to love it as a base simply because it reminded me so much, like I said, the Wisman Atelier and the Chanel Balm Sticks, which really give a beautiful kind of base to the skin because it creates a glass-like finish, hydrates the skin, creates an emollient base, and Overall, it's great for like a day-to-day -day look if you don't want to add any makeup. So I would put this on all over my clients, add a little like, mm, like a cream blush or a liquid tint on the cheeks, and you'll have that, what I call a yoga glow look or a brisk walk. Gives you that nice sheen. So I'm only going to put this on one half of the face today because I want to make sure that the foundations that I'm putting on top of this aren't, you know, um, being changed based on me having this all over my face. So on this side, I will have the balm and on this side, I will leave it with just my moisturizer. And if you guys are wondering what I prepped with today on my face for the whole face, uh, it was the mother face oil. So I wash with my Dr. Loretta skin cleanser and then I put this on all over and added a little bit of my stress repair eye cream by Chantecaille. So let's head into the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, light revealer, natural skin illuminator with SPF 25. Now before I jump into trying this on with you guys, I do want to mention that as most of you know, I am a professional makeup artist of 25 years, and this is the one brand that I constantly tell women 40 and up to reach for, and that's because it's such an easy brand to use. Now, I haven't done a dedicated video on Laura Mercier yet, but I definitely will. So what it does state, it is a light coverage, radiant finish, long wearing, and hydrating. It has French algae to help improve skin's natural radiance and plant-based hydrators to help water retention by supporting skin's resilience and vitality. So let's see if it does just that. I have a feeling it will because Laura Mercier is pretty spot on when it comes to her formulations. All right, so I'm going to just add a bit of this to my finger here. What I love about tinted moisturizers is that they're really easy to use. So when people are first starting off with makeup, um, not makeup artists, or not even people who really wear makeup, they always ask me, how do I apply a tinted moisturizer? You apply it just like you would your face moisturizer. I added a bit more here. And you just blend it into the skin. I like to work it in so that it kind of warms up to the skin and apply just like you would any other skincare product. Now, for those of you that are wondering, what level is a tinted moisturizer when it comes to coverage. It's the least amount of coverage. It's literally meant to just give a soft 
kind of focus finish on the face. It's meant to lightly blur imperfection, and it's meant to create a dewy, moisturizing appearance on the skin. So do not think of this as a foundation. Think of this as a tint. It's literally that. It's a tinted moisturizer, meaning it has a little bit of color while it moisturizes. What I do love about a tinted moisturizer, even if it doesn't cover as much as maybe you want to, is you can go in with your concealer to get the coverage you want. Now, what I like to tell clients is once you're done putting your tinted moisturizer on and you notice that there's areas that still need a bit more coverage, that's where you can go in with your concealer and touch up, which is usually going to be around the eyes, the nose, the sides of the mouth. You could put a little up here to kind of highlight and create a lifted look around the eye area. And that's all you'll need. This is the easiest way to get a really flawless complexion. So little tint of moisturizer, concealer, you're good to go. And hopefully you guys are able to see that it kind of neutralized underneath the eye area, like the discoloration. I'm a bit brighter. My skin looks kind of glowy, which I love. Feels good, feels light. Hopefully you're able to see that this is, you know, brighter and help to kind of soften underneath the eye area. Want to note though, you see how you could still see my dark spot here. You can even see some of my darker spots out here. That's where I'd go in with my concealer and just kind of touch up and fine tune. All right, let's go ahead now and get into the next foundation. This next one I've been really excited to try because I loved the concealer. It's such a great concealer, especially for those of you with truly combination skin. When I do wear the concealer, I have to make sure to have a good eye cream underneath if I put it around under my eyes, but I like the coverage and I like its light, watery, jelly texture. So today I'm hoping that the moisturizer is just as good. Let's go ahead and read a couple of points about the Synchro Skin. This has SPF 20 and it says it's self-refreshing, which I'm not sure what that means, but... We shall see. <laughs> so this has 12 shades, light, medium, all the way to deep. It's up to 24 hours of hydration with light coverage and a fresh, natural looking finish that lasts. It says that it has a high concentration of hyaluronic acid as well as Actoforce technology, which resists the effects of heat, humidity, oil, and facial movement. And it has responsive sensory technology, which adapts to skin's condition, tone, and texture for true illumination. All right, let's try it out. So this one does state that it's free of fragrance and it's supposed to balance the skin tone as well as the texture. Now remember, this has the Jones Road Balm on already, just this side. So I am applying the Shiseido on top. I love the balm underneath. Do you guys see this? So pretty. This feels so good on the skin. Mind you though, I'm combination dry, really pretty much dry at this point. Um, but for those of you that don't like texture or feeling anything on your skin, I don't think you'll like the Jones Road. I definitely wanna note that. So I know for me, when I take my makeup off at night, I like to feel squeaky clean. I don't mind feeling hydrated during the day, but like at night, my texture needs to feel like <laughs> because I don't like to feel anything, probably because I wear makeup all day. All right, I'm layering this up here. Putting it underneath my eye. Do you know what I will say about the Jones Road, though? Underneath the eyes, you guys, I can tell how much softer it looks. Can you see right here my line a bit? Like, it just looks a little bit, mm, not like soft-focused and hydrated, where this... Something about the Jones Road underneath that balm, basically, is helping it to look really kind of taut and super hydrated. So it's grabbing the foundation really nicely, really creating a glass-like, dewy, hydrated skin look. If I had a client who was truly dry, I would put this together. Someone who's just combination dry, I'd wear this on its own. Since this is lighter, the Synchro, in texture, this feels good together. And if you're combination oily, I'd wear this just by itself. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If not, comment down below and I'll break it down. <laughs> All right, so loving this combination, loving the Synchro. I am finding that the Synchro has better coverage. It's definitely more pigmented than the Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier. All right, let's head into our last product, and that's the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. $130, size of my palm. 
This better be amazing. All right, I'm taking a wipe and wiping the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer off because I want to put the Clay de Peau directly onto the skin. So here we have the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream, $130. I'll be honest with you, when I pulled this out, I was like, oh, this feels very, very small. It's 0.88 ounces, so it's not even a full ounce. And this is 1.7 full ounces. So for $130, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more on this side rather than this side. So yeah, something to note, this better be amazing. I don't mind spending money on luxury products because I've worked in luxury for most of my career, but man, it better, you know, really be amazing at that price point. <laughs> Let's go and read a couple of key points on the foundation to figure out why it's so amazing. So it states that it's a cream foundation, 24 hour wear without creasing or caking, natural finish, medium coverage, dewy, light reflecting, skincare infusion improves radiance over time. So that's great. It's a skincare kind of uh, moisture foundation hybrid. Okay. And by what I can tell, it looks like there's 24 colors in the range. All right, let's try this on. Now there is a primer that you can get to go with this that's new, because I got this at Nordstrom's. You go on Nordstrom's and they have the primer there. Um, I used their primer before. Good, not great for $88. I use the NARS and it's around 38 and I love it, it's light in texture. Um, and so, you know, something to note, if you are into luxury and you want to use a good primer, um, Clay de Peau has one that goes with their foundations, but I definitely wanted to feel what this was like directly on the skin with no primer underneath, just my light moisture oil as my prep. For those of you that might have forgotten, I used the Mother Face Oil today to prep my skin before I applied these foundations. Now I got the color Cameo, which is a bit light, but I can make it work. The texture on this is incredible it just feels so good <laughs> it just blended onto the skin like a creamy texture it's already trying to set down and it looks gorgeous it looks gorgeous i know this is weird because like i'm in the luxury world but sometimes when something is small and so expensive in like the beauty world a little tiny part of me goes i'm not gonna like it I'm not gonna like it, it's just, it's too expensive. <laughs> but every now and then I have a product and it really does surprise me. It really makes me go, okay, fine, it, it's good. Um, and that's what I'm having go on with this product right now. This feels amazing on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It feels like nothing's on my face right now. Uh, the coverage is really nice. I will say I'm seeing a tiny bit of settling around my pores now. Also, I used a very little bit. I hope you guys saw I used maybe like half a size or quarter size of a dime for all over my face. So although it's small, it's mighty in its actual pigmentation. Thank goodness. This feels amazing. It's brightening. I don't know how they managed to create a formula that went on really creamy and then just softly settled down without drying and looking cakey. Um, this, is, this is what I mean by luxury. Like this is where I'm seeing the price point matching what I expect. And it is gorgeous. You know who blew me away when it came to foundations recently this past year where I was like, wow, this is so good is the Chantecaille Cushion Compact. You put that on, it covers beautifully and it feels like you're wearing nothing. And yet it covers beautifully and it has skincare properties in it. And this reminds me of that. It just has that skincare properties mixed with those hydrators it looks like your second skin it just feels amazing there's nothing negative i could say about this other than it is settling a bit in my pores um but not like over the top it just looks so so pretty <laughs> around my eyes it looks soft and hydrating i love this i'm gonna bring it in for you guys to see up close All right, so what do we think? I personally fell in love with every single product. It's been a while since I've done a video and every single product was good. Now who though is each product for? 
I recognize that we all have different budgets, different skin tones, different skincare concerns. We all are different age ranges. So let me just break it down for you a bit. The Laura Mercier is great for somebody who is looking for a great value when it comes to the quality and the quantity. It's for natural makeup wears. I would say intro beginner makeup wears. Those are looking for a quick, hydrating, lightly tinted foundation slash moisturizer. It's very light in texture. Add concealer to this for more attention to the areas that you need on the face. The second one, I'd say the Synchro Skin offers more of a medium coverage, light to medium. You can build it up. More of a water gel texture. And for those of you with, I would say, truly combination skin, slightly dry, but if you're truly dry, I'd wear something underneath like the Jones Road. Where did she go? Here she is. The Jones Road Balm underneath are just a really great moisturizer to add moisture to this. Combination skin and combination oily are going to love this light in texture. If I forgot to mention, this is a great product for those of you that are combination to combination dry, the Laura Mercier. Lastly, my favorite out of all three of the foundations today was the Clay to Poe Beauty Radiant Cream. I liked the way it felt. I liked the way it set. It's hydrating, but not overly hydrating. Very light in texture. I like that it has skincare property benefits to it. I like that it was illuminating. I like that it covered everything up. Even my dark spot, it covered really well. If I wanted to truly cover it, I just add a bit of concealer to it, but I feel illuminated, bright. I like the way that it just sets and the way my skin looks right now. Um, and this is for somebody I would say who is looking for a luxury price point skincare foundation in one, somebody who is looking for 24 hours of hydration and is truly combination dry to dry skin. Now, if you are truly dry, I would definitely put something like the Jones Road underneath or any moisturizer that you absolutely love, or you can always add a hydrating primer. So overall, you guys absolutely loved all the products. I'm curious to see which one is your favorite. Which one do you think you'd gravitate towards? If you guys have any questions that you guys want to ask me, I'm always here for you. For those of you that are watching this for the first time, I am a 25 year professional makeup artist. I've worked on thousands and thousands of faces in my career. So um, I'm pretty versed when it comes to not just products, but also on how to work with these products and give you guys, I think some pretty sound advice at this point in my career. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys have questions or suggestions, just comment down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it more than you know. All right, everyone, I'm gonna head over to the next video now. You will see me in the same look. I have my base on, so I'm gonna head over now and do color. I'm gonna do the Byredo Kalahari palette and the mascara, and I'm gonna pull out some Byredo lipstick to pull it all together. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video. As always, if this is going to be a pause for you guys, I hope you're well and continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other. I'll see you soon, hopefully in the next video. Bye.